Hi, I'm Kelly with Horns Illustrated, and here's what happened last week in Longhorn Sports. This episode is brought to you by Starkey Mortgage. For all your home financing needs, call Eddie Reinhardt at 512-329-9040. Call it the weekend of dominance for the Longhorns. The football, volleyball, and soccer teams all beat tough opponents. The football team beat number 12 Oklahoma Sooners 36 to 20 in the 108th Red River rivalry at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas on Saturday. The Texas offense racked up 445 yards led on the ground by running backs Malcolm Brown and Jonathan Gray, each who had over 100 yards rushing in the game and in the air by quarterback Case McCoy, who threw for 190 yards and two touchdowns. His 38-yard touchdown pass to Mike Davis at the end of the third quarter sealed the deal for the Longhorns. The biggest highlight came when defensive end Chris Whaley intercepted a Blake Bell pass and ran the ball back 31 yards for a touchdown in the first quarter. The Texas defense held OU to just 263 yards of total offense. The Longhorns now sit in a tie for first place in the Big 12 with a 3-0 conference record and a 4-2 overall record. The Longhorns have a bye this week, but return to Big 12 play against TCU on October 24th in Fort Worth. The volleyball team secured sole possession of first place in the Big 12 conference when they beat Kansas 3-1 in Lawrence on Saturday night. Senior Bailey Webster led the Longhorns with 20 kills. Earlier in the week, Texas swept Texas Tech 3-0 at home. Volleyball continues Big 12 play next Saturday when it hosts Iowa State at 6.30 p.m. at Gregory Gym. The soccer team beat number 23 Baylor 2-1 at home Friday night. Sherry Slatchapple led the Horns to victory when she scored back-to-back -back goals in the 48th and 50th minutes of the game. The soccer team now has a 4-1-2 record in Big 12 play and sits in second place in the Big 12 standings behind West Virginia. This week, the Longhorns play Oklahoma State on Friday in Stillwater before returning home to face Oklahoma on Sunday. Sunday's game will be senior day for Gabby Zarniger and Brenda Saucedo. That's all for this week in review. Subscribe to Horns Illustrated using 2013 YouTube and receive 20% off your subscription. See you next week for what happens in Longhorn Sports.